Welcome back everybody to Body Bags. I'm Chris and uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, done a review here on Body Bags but uh, due to working two different jobs, one full time, one part time and being during the holiday season and stuff I just really didn't have time to do any type of reviews or anything like that. Um, so I had to take a break for a little bit but um, I'm back now and I'm here with another review and this week's theme is Road of Horror. And so I am choosing the Hitcher 2. I've been waiting, and this is uh, from, uh, I believe, like early 2000s, like 2001, 2002, maybe even 2003. But um, this one uh, picks up um, years later after the very first movie. Uh, <clears throat> it still stars C. Thomas Howell. And uh, him and his, he's all grown up now, and him and his girlfriend um, are living together. And he um, is like a, a race car driver, like a an off-road race car driver or something like that. And uh, basically he has to do a race uh, in Texas or wherever the, the desert place is in this one. I'm not sure which state it's in. But um, but he has, to, he has to travel all the way to that race place uh, during this event. And he doesn't want to do it because he, all of his uh, memories from the first Hitcher movie, you know, start flooding his memory again. And he just doesn't want to do it. But he decides if he's going to win the race, if he's going to race in it, he has to overcome his fear and travel across uh, the desert again. And sure enough, when he does, um, he gets his wife, or his girlfriend actually, sorry, uh, decides that uh, it's okay to pick up hitchhikers nowadays. So she picks up a hitchhiker, and it's played by Jake Busey. And um, I don't really know if he's supposed to be the, the same person from the first movie, just, you know, changed his looks or had like surgery or something i don't know but he kind of see thomas house character kind of thinks he's the same person and then jake Busey's character makes some uh comments and stuff stating that he might be the same person and he kind of knows the history of c thomas Howell and says he's been waiting for him and all this stuff so it's really weird because it's played by you know it's years and years later and he's played by a different person and like he's still in the pursuit of finding c thomas Howell. So it's really strange to know whether or not he is or isn't the same character from, or the same hitchhiker from the first movie. Um, but uh, basically it's the same thing again where right as soon as he picks up the hitchhiker, um, he starts thinking, you know, all these bad things are going to happen. So he kicks Jake Busey out and then his girlfriend gets mad at him because she thinks he's just being stupid for no reason. And then all of a sudden Jake Busey, um, uh, you know, gets in another vehicle and crashes into their car then you know that everything's really happening again. And, um, of course, every single time that somebody gets killed, it's made to look like um, C. Thomas Howe's character is the one responsible for it. Um, and they get locked up into a barn, and the police show up, and, of course, Jake Busey is there to kill off several of the policemen to make it look like those two people are, you know, the ones firing at the officers. Um, there's only one cop that kind of believes something is a little off, and he's the one that's on pursuit to find out what the actual truth is and help these two people out. Uh, now, there is a twist that I didn't see coming in the middle of this movie, and if you don't want to know what it is, go ahead and turn the video off, but I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you right here. If you've already seen it, then, it's, then you know what it is. But uh, the twist is that halfway through the movie, actually not even halfway, I guess, is a little bit before halfway, C. Thomas Howe's character gets killed off by Jake Busey's character, by the hitchhiker. And then the plot kind of turns into the first movie again, but instead of the, um, instead of C. Thomas Howell's character, it is uh, Carrie Wooer, um, C. Thomas Howell's girlfriend's um, thing. Like, she's the one doing it now. Like, everybody thinks she's the one responsible, and she has to go off by herself to stop the hitchhiker. Uh, that's where it kind of twisted. I thought that basically those two were going to run through the whole thing. I even kind of thought she was going to die. And they were going to put the blame on him again. Um, but then they kind of did the twist and they, they killed him off instead. And that really surprised me. Uh, now, a lot of people give this movie crap. Uh, but I actually thought that it was actually a pretty decent sequel. I, I thought it was very true to the first movie. And it was it was just as good. Well, not as good as the first movie, but still still pretty good. Um, I, I highly underestimated this film whenever I, when I started watching it. I thought it was going to be crap because of what everybody else said. But I highly recommend this movie. Um, if you like the first movie, I would say check this out. Um, I mean, the acting isn't as good because you got Jake Busey and C. Thomas Howe isn't the greatest actor anymore, but uh, it's still it's still a pretty good film. I, I really liked it. I thought it was really, really well executed on, on uh, Universal's part, so I give them credit for, 
for doing a pretty good follow-up uh, years later. The first one was like 86, so this one was in the early 2000s, and I thought they did a really good job, and um, I give them full credit for it. So definitely check out uh, The Hitcher 2, I've Been Waiting, and um, keep checking back next week for another Buddies Bag review. I will be here, so see you guys.